We're up here in my office this morning. It's overcast, cloudy, and pretty cool. So it'd be a good morning to drink a cup of coffee and think about where we are in our dog training plan with Molly. Yes, you heard me right. A dog training plan. This little short clip is going to be entitled, The Devil is in the Details. For those of you who don't have a plan, I highly encourage you to get a piece of paper and on that paper at the top put your current level of your dog's training that you're working right now and do one for each dog you're working if you're working more than one dog where are you in your training when you're thinking about that particular dog what are three positive qualities about that dog we're talking about our Molly puppy who's now 14 weeks old. Her level of training is we just started her on the barrel with pigeons. So we're breaking her to the word woe. One of the first things that comes to mind about Molly is how smart she is. When we first started out in the front seat of the Polaris Ranger on her little chain, she wanted to bite and chew and bounce around. And about the second or third morning, I reached over, put my left hand around her nose and muzzle. Didn't hurt her, but I clamped her mouth shut and said very sharply, no. And I held on when she squirmed and wiggled until she submitted. From that time till now, we've never had another problem with her in the front seat wanting to chew and bite. That problem was solved. So she's a very smart dog. The second good quality about Molly is that she has a tremendous nose. She's what we'd call a long-nosed bird dog. She can smell those birds a long ways off in high green grass. And she knows what to do with them when she points them. One of the third things that came to mind about three good qualities was her confirmation. She's a very well-built, soundly made dog with everything in the right place. She's built right to run and totally hunt relaxed. for long periods totally of time. Totally relaxed. Come on. The next question is, is if I could ask my dog, how can I be better for you? I think the dog would say. And with Molly, it's letting her exercise. Before we try to do anything with Molly in the line of teaching, we take her out, drop her off in front of the four-wheeler, and let her run for a half or three quarters of a mile. Now that we're haying the hay meadow, this morning we came up through the hay meadow. So she's learning to run a mowed hay meadow. And that will be great because in two weeks she'll be in South Dakota and we'll have a chance to run her in lots of hay meadows in South Dakota. So exercise and getting your dog out of the kennel every day. If you don't do anything else, then take them for a short three minute walk. Just get them out of the kennel, get your hands on them, get a lead on them, and do something positive with them. They learn every day, good or bad, it's up to you. So if you want them to progress rapidly, teach them something positive. The next question on our dog training plan says, what are three things I can do to improve the quality of my dog's life during the next three months. So Molly's 14 weeks old now, so that means she'll be roughly six and a half months old three months from now. So in the next three months, what can we do to make her life better and improve the training sequences of making her into a field trial winner? a bird dog extraordinaire. Well, one thing is we're going to South Dakota in two weeks where she'll have unlimited wild birds and lots of new country 
new people, horses, lots of new experiences. And for a 12, 13, 14 week old puppy, this is marvelous to get all of these new experiences. This is part of socialization in that puppy's life. So new places, new people, new experiences, unlimited wild birds. That's what we plan to do for the next three months. When we get home from South Dakota, I want to make a video of Molly, six and a half months old, standing steady to wing and shot on birds. Now this is a two-page dog training plan. I worked for Ford Motor Company for many years. I started out in skilled trades and then went to supervision and ended up being a senior analyst. But during that period of time, I learned that if, if it is not on paper, it did not happen. Keep a daily journal of what you do with your dogs. Do it daily. If you don't do anything, write nothing. Put a big zero there. I think you will be shocked at the end of the month how many zeros there are. And that's just exactly what your dog learned. Zero. So get that young puppy, get that started dog out of the kennel every day. Get your hands on them. Teach them something positive. Let them build new experiences, know they're loved, and learn from you. Their minds are very receptive the first six months of their lives. It's up to you to put positive things in there. Don't encourage bad habits that you will have to break later on. If something in this short video has stirred you up, give me a call. Let's talk dogs. You got a drink yesterday, wasn't it? That's why you're going to go back to, to get a drink today.